got my sunglasses on. You know what that means. It's video time. Only got less than 30 minutes of my one hour lunch break left. So this YouTube video that I made in such a short period of time, it's going to have a name and title. Now some of my old YouTube videos that I made in the past are on my old channel because someone tried to steal my identity last year. You do know it is a crime when it comes to identity death. That means people who try to steal your identity. And a lot of those videos are still up on my old original YouTube channel. But I did say that on these new YouTube channels, I was going to do what they call revised versions of these videos. That means I take the video that was already there from a year or two years ago and I add some new information into the revised version of the video that never was in the original videos. So about 60 or 70 percent is going to sound very familiar to you with some new um, added material information. And I'm basically doing half and half. Half of it would be me talking about older women. The other half would be me talking about fat women. You know, why men get sexually frustrated and then decide <laughs> to want to subject themselves to this type of thing. So that's the purpose of this video. So we're going to call it Sex Game. Um, sex with older slash older women. I'm going to say sex with older women, fat women. So it's going to be called Sex Game. Sex with older slash fat women. All right, now, when men get sexually frustrated, when men get rejected by beautiful, attractive women um, from the age of 18 to 29, they don't just get rejected. They get rejected between 10 to 15 times, and then it turns into 20 rejections, 30, 40, 50, 60 rejections. And I've said it in my YouTube videos, that in 10 years, you can get 50 to 100 rejections. And you'll be so angry and upset because by the time you graduate from high school and college and you get into the real world, you want to be in a relationship. Because your parents and your grandparents demand it. You know, they don't leave you alone until they see you accomplish that goal. Because to them, they think it's normal when they see you get a wife and kids, they think that's normal. And you see, social conditioning is to program people to believe in something that's it's not that it's real or fake, but in a belief system that basically is a one-way thinking. And most men today are sexually frustrated. And you see, a lot of these pickup artists and dating coaches tell you don't try to date fat women or older women because they are, they are a health hazard. Well, smoking and drinking and doing drugs um, is a health hazard. So, right is right, wrong is wrong. Now, men from the ages of 18 to 29, I'm going to extend the age limit to 18 to 30, ah, 35. Now, when you're in your 20s, a lot of men complain that young, attractive women of that same age group play a lot of mind games. Now, I've already made a YouTube video called Younger Women Versus Older Women on these YouTube channels. So that video is already made. So if you want to look at young women versus older women to see who's better, that video is already made. I already made the video about... Young women playing mind games because I called it shit test versus mind games part two. So I already made that video. This video is, is to explain why heterosexual men in their 20s and 30s have sex with older women that we call cougars and plus size women. So a lot of men do find older women physically sexually attractive. Now, older women can cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's without question. I'm not talking about going to McDonald's, Burger King, or Taco Bell. I'm talking about some real cooked food. I'm talking about three, three good solid meals. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
So older women from the ages of 35 to 65 years of age, they know how to cook breakfast, they know how to cook lunch and dinner, and they can treat you to a very good dessert. So you're okay when it comes to food and water. Now, they do bring a lot of experience, and let me make that clear. For men from the ages of 18 to 35 that do find older women physically, sexually attractive, it don't matter if the older woman is black, white, Mexican, um, about 99.99% accurately, older women have more experience. So you might get a woman that's got 15, 20, maybe 25 years of experience on you. Some of the best guys who are good in bed when it comes to sex, a lot of times they're good in, in, in bed because they've had sex with older women in their 30s, in their 40s, in their 50s, and their 60s. And then when these guys later in life, when they're completely established, that means you got two jobs, you got a house, you got a car, you saved up about fifteen to $20,000 in the bank, um, your life is in order, you got your shit together. Later in life, when these men are in their late 30s, 40s, and their 50s, and they're in their financial prime, they're able to physically, sexually attract hot, attractive women from the age of 18 to 29. In the beginning, when you're in your 20s and some part of your early 30s, you're not going to be able to date 18, 19, 20, 21 year old women. You're going to be getting women old enough to be your mother and your grandmother. Now, some men don't like that because they feel like they're getting cheated out of a golden opportunity. And in reality, you are being cheated out of an opportunity. When you're in high school and you go all four years getting rejected... That is pretty much getting cheated because you don't have no experience. It's like when you get a job, right? When you go for a job interview, a lot of times they're looking for someone who has the best experience. And you might go to someplace like Foot Locker and they say, well, this job, the experience that we're looking for is someone who knows how to sell merchandise and is a fast paced worker. And we test you out in an hour you struggle to sell some Michael Jordan tennis shoes, that's $250. So we can't hire you because you move too slow in an hour. We need you to work fast pace and sell these $250 Michael Jordan tennis shoes. So maybe one day in the future, maybe like three or five years from now, when you got some experience, you can come back and we'll hire you. Now, you do know that 90% of the time when they tell you that, Usually five years later or ten years down the road, you already found you a job. And women are the same way. You get rejected by a girl in college because she wants to shit test you or play a bunch of mind games. And then she'll tell you, well, I just don't find you physically sexually attractive. I just don't like you like that. You know, if the girl is from the age of 18 to 29, about 85 to 90% on average, you're going to get told I don't find you physically sexually attractive. You know how many women that I had a crush on in high school and college, even at work and even at the gym? And guess what? I would say a very good 60% of them told me to my face, you're a nice, good-looking guy. Uh, you do hit the gym. You do work out. You do cardio. You do weight training, but I just don't find you physically sexually attractive. Now, sometimes that hurts your feelings. Sometimes that don't hurt your feelings. Sometimes that make you mad. Sometimes it don't make you mad. Sometimes you feel like you want to turn into the Incredible Hulk and pick up a thousand pounds and knock down a wall. Because you feel like that no matter how much work you put into yourself, women are ignoring it. It's just young women, unfortunately, who do that. Now, when it's ten years later and you see that girl's in her 30s, you don't find her physically sexually attractive. Because too much time has gone by. You know that old saying, too little, too late? Well, once that girl's 30, 35 years old, now she like you, which I already made a YouTube video about that as well. So when you can't get the young woman, you get sexually frustrated. And I've said this, and this is true. The, the, the longer you go without having sex with a woman, the more sexually frustrated you get. See, there's two types of frustrations that a man experience. There's, I'm frustrated because I'm not making enough money at my job. 
usually you say, give me 15 hours, give me 20, 25 hours, you're good making money. But when it comes to sexual activity and you get rejected 85 to 90 percent of the time, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Most women are not going to help you with your problem and they don't care that you have a problem. They're not going to help you. You're going to have to help yourself. And guess what? 85 to 90 percent of the time, if you're from the age of 18 to 29 or in this case, 30 to 35 years of age, you're going to be forced to have sex with women that you don't find physically sexually attractive. And a lot of times men like older women because they're mature. The only bad problem, the only downside to messing with older women in their 40s and their 50s and their 60s is that the older that they get, the harder it is to have kids. The older she gets, the harder it is to give birth to kids. If she, if you get a woman that's 45 or 50 and she births a kid, the kid could have Down syndrome. Um, the kid could have stage one autism, stage one Asperger's, bipolar, bipolar disease. And that's something you have to live with as a man. You know, do you want to go to a basketball game or a football game or basketball practice or football practice 95% of the time and have people laughing at you because your kid doesn't know how to catch a football or your kid gets hit in the head or in the face with a basketball? That's what you got to deal with. Those are called consequences. Mother Nature hands out consequences, not just to men, but to women. And when women get in their 40s and their 50s and their 60s, they're receiving consequences from Mother Nature. You know, but the men who do find older women physically sexually attractive is because they know how to cook food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, the sex, for the most part, most men don't complain about the sex. Because if these women are still good looking, even though they hit the wall in their 40s and their 50s and their 60s, you can go to any gym, 24-hour fitness, um, LA Fitness, Planet Fitness, Gold's Gym, Club Onyx, Club Bay, UFC Gym, LA Boxing Gym. I don't care if it's the YMCA. About 90% of the time, you're going to see women from the ages of 35 to 65 years old doing cardio and weight training to get into athletic shape. You might go to the gym and see a woman at the gym two times a week, three times a week, four or five times a week doing cardio and weight training for two hours. And those women stay in great athletic shape. They just hit the wall. Now, there's two types of older women. There's older women who look good for their age. And then there's older women who just let themselves go because they did too much smoking, too much drinking, too much drugs, too much partying, and they never thought about the future. And then one day, it was 10 years later, 15 years later, 20 years later, extreme cases, 25 to 30 years later, and they got old. And by the time they realized they were old, a lot of men did not find them physically, sexually attractive. And they just got pumped and dumped. They just got used for sex and nothing else. So, and I have an old saying. Men will take older women out to lunch and dinner. Older men will, uh, younger men will take older women out to lunch and dinner. They will have sex with older women, but they will not get into relationships or marry older women. They will not have kids with older women. It's only a 30% chance that you might get a young guy that actually marries and wives up an older woman that's in her 40s or 50s or 60s. So it's okay to take them out to lunch and dinner. It's okay to have sex with them. Now, men like this, women unfortunately hate it. And it is what it is. It's basically short term. Now, when they say a beta male men have sex with older women, okay, the reality is those guys do have kids and get married to those women. Now, when an alpha male man have sex with women that's in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and sometimes 70s, it's because of three reasons. Number one, that man is sexually frustrated. Number two, he has no experience with women. And number three, he doesn't understand women's nature. He doesn't understand female nature. So when an alpha male does it, he has three reasons for doing it. 
when an beta male man does it, he just do it because he wants to be in a relationship. He wants to get married and have kids because his parents and grandparents expect that of him. But you got to be careful because if you don't display strong masculine energy, an older woman can take advantage of that and have power over you. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. That means she'll go from respecting you to disrespecting you if you don't demonstrate what a man is. And if an older woman can tell that you're not trying to take charge, she'll take charge. So that's, you know, the advantages and the disadvantages of messing with an older woman. Now, if you're going to mess with older women, you better mess with older women who go to the gym and work out. You know, if you see an older woman driving a motorcycle and she still looks young and youthful for her age, go right, go for it. So there's two types of older women. Now for the guys that like fat women. A lot of times when men start having sex with fat white women, fat uh, Mexican women, a lot of times it's in the same category. I'm sexually frustrated. Um, no one's giving me no attention. And I think it's the end of the world. And usually guys will go ahead and ask out fat white women or fat Mexican women that's 200 pounds, 300 pounds, 400 pounds. And a lot of people will start laughing at you and making fun of you because they'll go, why you got to go mess with a fat land whale of a woman? A lot of times it's because you've probably tried to date women from the age of 18 to 29 and 90% of the time, the answer's always no. You know, there's always some type of bullshit excuse. Well, I've got two jobs. I've got three jobs. Uh, I already have a boyfriend. Only 60% of women actually have a boyfriend. The other 40% of women, they just lie. Because they're looking for men that are rich and famous, that are multi-millionaires or billionaires 10 times over. And if you're not rich and famous, and you're not physically sexually attractive... <clears throat> and you don't play basketball and football, then they're not interested in you. And then you end up going for women that are way below your standards. And you see the men who be laughing at you, the men that make fun of you, in secrecy, they do the same exact behavior. You get a lot of guys saying, I will never have sex with a fat woman that's 200 pounds, 300 pounds, 400 pounds, and one day you catch him um, walking up the street or down the street in another in another part of the city and you find out how full of shit he is. <laughs> you got guys who crack jokes and then it turns out he's, you know, he's the guy that goes out and smash, you know, you know, fat women. Now, the reasons why men like, you know, fat white women or fat Mexican women or fat black women is because they got a big ass butt and some big titties. And a lot of times the fat girl, if she's desperate enough, if she's insecure enough, she'll give up the ass anyway. Now, I'm not saying it's right for you to take an advantage of someone in a weak and vulnerable position, but you got some men that do find fat women physically sexually attractive, and it's for the same reasons. They're sexually frustrated. They've been rejected anywhere between 50 to 100 times in 10 years, and a lot of times the reasons make sense. Sometimes they don't make sense. Now, is the sex great? Well... There are stories of guys saying that the fat girls are a freak, which a lot of the fat girls are freaks. Um, a lot of the older women are freaks. They're both freaks and they're both very aggressive in the bedroom. Now, the reason why you're going to get guys in their 20s and 30s messing with big women is because they're sexually frustrated. And they're tired of people picking on them, laughing at them, and making fun of them because they ain't got no girlfriend. Then when you get a girlfriend, people are like, why she got to be 200 pounds, 300 pounds, 400 pounds? You got cases where a man self-improves himself. You know, he goes to the gym, he does cardio, he does weight training. Um, he's bigger, he's stronger, he's faster, he's athletic. He has six-pack abs, big, broad shoulders. The guy might be between 5'10 to 6'4". He might be between 190 to 200 and 40 pounds of muscle he plays basketball and football and for reasons explained or not explained once he self-improves himself 
he goes and have sex with fat women that are 200 pounds, 300 pounds, 400 pounds. The woman could be 500 pounds, and people might say he's a nice, handsome man. Why would he want a, a, a land whale of a woman? Why, why does he want a pig? And you got to ask the man, is he sexually frustrated? And if it's been 10 years or 15 years or 20 years that no woman has paid him no attention, he's not just going to sit there seven days a week 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, um, for 10 years, for 15 years, or 20 years, sexually frustrated and not do nothing to fix the problem. He gonna do by any means necessary um, to fix the problem. And he doesn't care what you think about it. You got some basketball players, some football players, you got some bodybuilders, some weightlifters who don't mind smashing some big women 200 pounds, 300 pounds, 400 pounds. Some guys have a weight limit. Some guys don't have a weight limit. Same thing when it comes to older women. You got some guys that have a house. They have a car. They have two jobs, three jobs. They self-improve themselves and for reasons explained or not explained, they like to have sex with women from the ages of 35 to 65. And people be like, but this woman's old enough to be your mother or your grandmother. And you ask him the question, is he sexually frustrated? And if he ain't been getting no attention for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, he's going to do whatever it takes by any means necessary. And he doesn't care what you say or what you think of it. Now, when he can somehow get young, attractive women, then he'll stop doing it. Now, same thing with fat women. <laughs> when you go to the gym, you will see guys ask women out. Same thing with fat girls. Some of these guys will take these women out to lunch and dinner and then turn around and have sex with them. And the guys who laugh and make fun of you, he'll laugh and make fun of you, but one day you'll catch him with a fat girl and then he'll be trying to explain to you, oh, that's just my big sister or that's, the, or that's my cousin. You know, just lying his ass off. Back, back in the 1970s and 80s, they used to call it a booty call. That if you were messing with a woman 300 pounds, 400 pounds, you would call her at 12 midnight or 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning because you were too embarrassed and ashamed for anyone to catch you with someone of that size. Now, today in 2019, you see men um, don't give a damn what you say or what you think. Now, I'm not saying, now when people say, what if an alpha male does it? Same thing. There's only three reasons why a person does that. Number one, they're sexually frustrated. Um, number two, they've been rejected too many times. And number three, they don't have no experience. And once they get a lot of experience, they get the type of females they were supposed to get in the first place. So that is basically me doing a combo video. A combo video means I do half and half. That means... Um, That means that, um, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long and too short because I don't want to go over my lunch break. You can get fired and lose your job and get a definitive strike or they can take some money out of my paycheck just for coming late on my lunch break because it has happened before in the past. They do take some money out of your paycheck um, and they do give you what they call disciplinary action if you, uh, if you come late from, you know, from lunch. Back to the video. This is what happens um, when you uh, ask these types of questions. So I made the video. So I basically killed two birds with one stone. This video was just to explain why men do this type of behavior. And so I hope you like the video. And by the way, this video is for guys who like these types of women. So if you don't like um, older women, or big women then don't watch the video if you do watch the video but that's what this video is for so gotta get back to work till next time peace